Whoa. Probably wondering where I've been, guys. Five day break was supposed to be a three day break, but you might be able to hear my voice. I've got a little bit of a cold, and you might be able to see more detail in my face today because we have a new camera, new mic, and a new era. I mean, it's still the same career mode, but welcome back, guys, to the Christmas miracle, which isn't a Christmas miracle. That's why it's moving away. It is now the Christmas or Crystal. New Year's resolution thing. Honestly, don't have a name for it, guys, as welcome back to it. Anyway, still going to be a one-season thing. Don't get me wrong. As we write in the calendar, because I've got to tell you, I have recorded this video once. It's a new camera. The camera died immediately. So, I played one game off-screen. Well, I didn't even play it. I simulated it. We lost 2-0 to Man City with his reserves. But, of course, I played the rest of the games, but I just had to back out without saving. So, we have Brighton, who have just beat <laughs> Liverpool. Uh, Everton and Leeds United today as we move out of the month of January, which is the transfer window as well. Doubt any business, but we might get some done. And here we have it, the first game back, which is, of course, like the motorway derby. I'm sorry, I don't know the motorway of which it is. So we're not going to play the reserve team, which I did put out in the cup. Lost 2-0 with that team, which is actually really not bad at all, even though we got dominated. But this team is different. Back to the first with Guaita in net. Emerson, Diego, Carlos Gomez and Hernandez at the back with Milovojevic. Blint and Eze in camp with Hulk, Ben Yedder and Zaha up front. It's the strongest team and hopefully the strongest team can deliver three points. And let's have a look how the Seagulls line up. It's Matt Ryan in the net. Decent keeper with Vigo, Byrne, Keane, Veltman and Bernardo at the back. Karaket and Montez in the midfield with McAllister in camp. With Mitrovic and Neil Marpe up from two decent championship strikers. Can they do it in the Prem? Who knows? I guess they have been already because the 13th, they're not doing bad. But come on, Eagles, beat the Seagulls. Let's hear his Teo Hernandez through to Zaha. Zaha cuts across. Zaha goes for an early shot. And oh my days, four minutes in and we're almost in front. That's a lively start. And it's going to be a corner to Brighton here after a little uh, pop shot, I'd say. Nothing really challenging. It's McAllister who's gone down injured as well from getting the cross in. As he's on the ball already. Number 10. Turns. Eze was almost in its way. He goes across to Zaha. Who gets it through to Milenkovic. Or not Milenkovic. Milovojevic. Zaha receives it again. Can he get past Vigo? He can. Just following to clear my throat as well. As uh, Milovojevic gets it in the middle. And we're going nowhere. Oh dear. And they've gone and scored. Even though it's absolutely come out of nowhere. Like that has come out of nowhere. I was blowing my nose. I was blowing my nose and then Neil Morpé has gone and turned us and scored and I don't know how that's happened. Oh, I'm struggling to record this video really, but look at this. It's gone straight through the middle. Neil Morpé just turns out and just puts it straight past Victor Guaita. Poor defending, poor from me to switch off and poor from them to switch off. 1-0 to the Seagulls. And here's Eze trying to get back into it, or Eze, I don't know why Derek Ray puts me off saying his actual name. Because that's a good turn, you know. Oh, and it's a good tackle from, I think... I don't know who that is, but it was a good tackle. And here's Theo Hernandez as Seagulls rings around the stadium. Zaha with the ball now, though. Turns inside. Good from Wilfred Zaha. Gives it into Vissan Ben Yedder. Could he get his level? Oh, good save from Ryan. That's a shame. Should have been level there. Still can be, though, as Ben Yedder's taking the corner. Don't get that. But Milovojevic a strike from range. And we're knocking on this door. Just can't get the equaliser. Over a free kick here. Milovojevic gives it to Joe Gomez. Gomez. Get that round the corner to Eze. End of the first half here. Eze tries to whip it in but wins a corner. And of course we've got a shot off with Milovojevic from the last corner. Can we get something here? Zaha throws himself at it. Goes back out to Hulk who's taking the ones from the left into Ben Yedder. Oh and he almost got there. I think he just died for it a bit early. Ben Yedder to still get on the ball though. And what can Vissam do here? He's going through the middle. Vissam Ben Yedder all over the place and into the top corner. What a reply from Vissam. From a corner that literally we had no chance at scoring from. But somehow it's level and he's booting the ball away. Oh, you love it. It's like the, the, the rebirth of Morpé. Even better than Morpé. Out of the water. That were a better finish than them. And look at that. Matt Ryan just stood still as it flew into that top mid. One apiece. And that marks the end of the first half. One apiece. Not that bad, you know I mean? They scored from me switching off, so I'm not going to blame my team as they have come back really well. Ben Yedder's control was superb for the goal. But yeah, I do want to demand a bit more from my team because I still don't think we've been spot on as that's through to Mitrovic and Morpai. That was almost in. 
Guaita let it go, but that almost trickled in that bottom corner. However, they've got a ball through here again. Don't let them score, and that I've done. It's from absolutely nothing. It's from absolutely nothing again. It's Adam Webster finding his way into the box. He's a centre-back. Yeah, Brighton have themselves in front again. Look at this. There's a good bit of play. No switching off here. That is just poor defending. As um, Guaita gets it rolled underneath him for 2-1. And now Hulk. Can we get an instant reply again? We shouldn't be losing to teams like Brighton. I'm sorry, I know it's a derby. No offence to Brighton fans out there. I've done a three-part series on you before, but we need to pick up wins here if we're going to go for a title charge. And I honestly don't know if it's gone already. I mean, it would be very slim if it was still on, but we need to be winning games like this if it is. As Ben Yedder, you are our saviour. Get on the ball. Vissan Ben Yedder tries to get past the defender. Shoots on. It's a good save from Matt Ryan. Honestly, don't get what some of these referees see. As that's a good ball, though. That's a good ball. No foul here. He just needs to score one of his roulette goals. As he does. Ben Yedder. Just two words. Three words, actually. Vissan Ben Yedder. And I know it's only a leveller against Brighton, but still, what a finish that is from our little Frenchman. Just turns inside. Townsend's going to come on as well now. To try and help him out, but look at that finish straight past Matt Ryan, who has no chance. And here is Hulk, gives it to Blind, Daily Blind. Can we actually get it? I know it's at the 90th minute, but that's a Ben Yedder turning, and usually when he does them, it leads to something good. Oh, Blind, he's missed the chance, he's missed the target in a vital moment. Look at that, millimeters wide, and that is gutting. As there's two minutes at a time. Good tackling there from James MacArthur. who's just come on. Townsend getting stuck in. He's got past MacArthur. No. Not a last minute goal. That is a brilliant tackle. Can we get forward? Ben Yedder with a run. Go on, Vissam. He's onside. Vissam Ben Yedder turns inside. Oh, my right. Oh, and it's a save on the line. Still Zaha to keep it alive. Oh, my voice is going. That's not a penalty. I knew it wouldn't be given. And that is full time. 2-2. Two -two, an eventful game with Brighton. But... No one gets the win. Points are shared. One apiece as I'm gutted with that. I actually am. I know it was a tight game. I know it could have gone either way, but I really could have done with a win. Yeah, guys, sorry if you wanted to see any signings as well in this episode, but I think we are going to tick over without anything happening. Although we have got a message. Henderson loan offer. That's nothing really to shout home about. Andros Townsend also a green air move away in the summer. But of course, we're not going to be here in the summer. We are going to be moved on to our next career mode as no signings there. We spent all those 200 million in the first window and now we're seventh. So let's not focus on getting players and results, please. And here we are on the next game, which is Liverpool. Fifth place. So if we need to get results, it's a hard place to start. But then again, we have got a draw. So it was his feet a little bit off the ground as we've got Guaita in that again. Emerson Diego, Carlos Joe Gomez, the old Liverpool man himself. Uh, Hernandez, Milivojevic, Blind Eze, Hulk, Ben Yedder, Zaha. Hulk's even going down in rating, which I can't understand. He hasn't had the best of performances, but still, I don't think he wants a downgrade as we're away at Anfield as well. Can we do a big Sam like performance or even push further to get the win? And let's have a look at the Liverpool lineup. I guess it's going to be strong, just a hunch. Like it's never, as Alisson is in the net. Alexander Arnold, Savic, Van Dijk and Robertson. Savic's a bit of a downgrade. Henderson, Fabinho, Oxide, Chamberlain. With Salah, Firmino and Mane, Ox and Savic. I wouldn't say the strongest. Got Pique on the bench. They've got Jota on the bench. Thiago on the bench. So we've got a lucky a little bit. Looks like they're rotating, but still, very, very good team. Probably better than ours. I don't know why I even say probably that. It's 100%. Better than ours as Oxley Chamberlain, who I said were weak, starting on the ball and just getting past us with ease. However, here is Daily Blind. Can we go forward this way through? That's a good one, too, that is. And Blind, who missed the late goal uh, he could have got against Brighton. Can he get an early one here? He used to play for Man United. He should have a rivalry. He should have the edge to get past Liverpool. He just doesn't seem to like to score. Being one of the uh, best left backs in the world, actually, for Milan at the moment, I've heard. As, oh, Oxley Chamberlain coming forward as well. 12 minutes in. It's been a really lively game. It's an overhead kick from Firmino, which was off target and offside. As, can we get the ball through? Oh, my days. What? I'm sure I was offside. I think I've just broken the offside trap, though, and Ben Yedder scores. 15 minutes in, this game has just been a bit lively as Ben Yedda just does his thing. Top scorer in the Prem. This isn't a level of this one. This is to put us in front of Liverpool. Look at that for a turn. Turns, Alisson's positioning a bit shoddy even though the ball was in the middle of the net. He still couldn't save it and stop it from going in. Crystal Palace won, Liverpool nil. And here is Hulk. Hulk going towards Eberizzi Eze who turns inside. 
Gives a little ball through to Vissan Benyeda. That's a good run as well from Eze. He's took a good touch as well. Eze, Eze. Oh, my days. Ref. I'm sure Savic just swiped his legs. What's that about? I see as Mane. Liverpool looking for an equaliser as well. Been a very good first half. As that's not a foul. It's being given though. At least it's not a card. As it's free kick for Salah. Whips it in. Easy away. And here is Daily Blind looking down that line for Hulk again. Hulk's on the ball. The aging man gives it into Eze. Eze looking for Zaha, who hasn't actually got involved as much as he should do. 83 rated. Like a few more goals, please. And Liverpool trying to break through here again at the end of the first half. So that's a good pass into Salah and it's bounced our bar. I can't believe this is 1-0. Should be either level or us more in front. Honestly, don't see them being the better team here. Honestly. As referee, please blow your whistle on time this time. Just because you like to play a little bit longer. As Look at that. It's over an added minute. I get that they were on the attack, but still, referee, come on. Henderson levels it. It's shocking. It's absolutely shocking. Just look. Look at the run as well. Henderson making a run behind Milivojevic, who just doesn't twig onto it. And now it's one apiece. And that's half time as well. Didn't like to concede that. That's a big blow because we've had chances. Eze's had chances. Zaha. Ben Yedder's had more. And it's Liverpool who see themselves level. And I think luckily level because they haven't really threatened like a Liverpool side should. So hopefully they can take advantage if they carry on this way in the second half by getting in front again. And come on. Here we go. Can we do it straight away? Ben Yedda! Ben Yedda across goal! In! We have done it straight away. It's this on Ben Yedda with the finish across net. And it's 2-1 to Palace. Okay. Didn't expect that. Instant reply. Love to see it. Look at this. Pass in there. And it's a fire across net. Alisson with no chance. And we take the lead. And here is Ben Yedda again. Oh my days. He's feeding Eze this time. And what can Eze do here? Ebrizi Eze makes it 3 what is happening? I mean, Liverpool were saying the way in the first half, just a sloppy. But we've just come out of the blocks really good. No difficulty change or anything, I swear. And it's Ebrisi Eze to finish that off with absolute prestige finish. Look at this, one-on-one. -on -one. Van Dijk on his back, Alisson in front of him. Still just slots it past him in a one-on-one -on -one scenario. You'd love to see it. Honestly, don't know where this has come from. Don't know what's happening. The Zaha has a chance here. Is he onside? He is. Eze to make it two and... Not just two, but four for Crystal Palace. She's second, but four for as a team against Liverpool. This is getting embarrassing for the Reds. It really is, as that is another one. I'm going to put Starker as well. When you know Palace are making substitutions, which are weaker, at your place when you're 4-1 down, you know you've gone wrong. I honestly didn't expect to say that at the start of this episode, as it should be 4-2, though, and it is. Guaita, I wanted to shut him down. I don't know why he's celebrating like that. Lorentino Martinez, because you are 4-2 down to Palace. But yeah, it's another goal for the uh, Red Men, as it was a bit of an error as well. It's a pass from Guaita that didn't work out, and then he's been chipped. Embarrassment, but embarrassment for the Reds, really. And I see it's Eze again. It could be 5-2 here. It could be 5-2. Eze for a hat-trick. Oh, great save. And here's Saudi Mane on the ball with a pass inside. They could make for a bit of a nervy ending, but I don't think they've got time to get another after, so we should be safe, as this is a huge win. For the confidence. I think Liverpool are third. Don't think they're top of the league this year. I think that's Chelsea's. That's a bad touch. And that should have been 4-3. But it doesn't matter. It's 4-2 instead. Goal difference does not make a difference to me at the moment. I need points to get back up there. We'll focus on goal difference when it comes to it. But that's a good game. Beautiful result. And yeah. Big Sam performance. But with the goals. And that puts us one point within Liverpool. I don't know why I said Chelsea were on top when the seventh. I think it might be Tottenham and Man City up there battling. But... The league's quite open. One win with all them teams above us losing would take us to third. However, we do drop back down to seven. Chelsea have played a game in hand, but they are only on 51 points. This is a big chance to jump up against Everton. This is the game we're going to play. I'm going to simulate the Leeds game at the end, like I said. With Guaita in net, Emerson, Diego, Carlos, Gomez and Hernandez at the back with Milivojevic, Blint and Eze, Hulk, Ben Yedder and Zaha. And I've got to tell you what, Eze Eze is really, really... Up there for the Ballon d'Or. He's been great for me. As I don't know where Everton are. I think it's a 10th. And we're not travelling to Merseyside this time. They're coming to us. Result. And let's have a look at this Everton Toffees lineup. No Michael Keane, of course. Played for Brighton with Olsen, Kenny, Lascelles, Mina and Alonso at the back. With Davies, Allen and Sigurdsson. It's got a bit downhill with Rodriguez, Richarlison and Wobie. But then again, Ancelotti is still in charge. Managers never change on career mode. So yeah, it's going to be hard. Payet on the bench. But Lassie's maybe back in form. But we don't know. This here is Vissan Ben Yedda, top scorer in the league. Can he get more here with a good pass to Hulk? That wasn't Lascelles, of course. Not Lascelles, sorry. Ben Yedda as all. Oh, what a save, Olsen. We're starting his games really early, 
with positive play. I like it, as it's a corner as well. Hulk to whip it in. Into Joe Gomez. Oh, it would be good if he scored as well. Ex Liverpudlian. There is Hulk with the ball. Turns inside. Looks for Eze as well. That's a good ball through. That's another good ball. Right, we're playing some really good football here against Everton. As it's Zaha through. I, I don't doubt it as well because we've just beaten Liverpool. And they're beating their noisy neighbours as well. Zaha with a beautiful finish across net to make it 1-0 to us. And that's just a superb goal. Look at this. Runs it himself. Really good play to get the ball to him and just... Outside of the foot this time with power instead of like placing it. And it's beaten Olsen this time. Oh, but here is uh, Alex. It will be. It's a rogue pass from Guaita again. He was doing that quite a bit. I don't like it. As Alan with the ball again. Gives it into James Rodriguez. James turns us. Doesn't go for the shot though. Gives it to Richarlison through one on one. And Guaita, you caused that goal yourself. One at a piece and it's James Rodriguez to slot it past him. To Guaita. I mean, we've just got a big win against Liverpool. But he has been really shocking today. Really, really bad as. Probably should have saved that one as well. One apiece though. And we've gone and got a corner straight after though. Can we do something from this? Ben Yedder whipping it in. Blind was prepared for it. It's going to go out to Ben Yedder again though. The corner taker. Who gives it into Eze. Eze to Milivojevic. Milivojevic to loop. And that should have been 2-1. Milivojevic with a great pass up. He actually got off the ground a bit of air time on that one. As Hulk, can you get a bit of air time on it? Chip it up and just go for a power shot as it's miles over. And here is Wilfred Zaha running down the wing. Wilfred Zaha. Ha, 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 ha. The Ivory Coast and King as he puts it to Ben Yedda, the French King. As he makes it 2-1 just before half time. Just don't doubt this guy. Don't. I want to use him in the thumbnail. I've already used him, but he's just fantastic. This on Ben Yedda strikes again. He is as consistent as as Dominic Calvert-Lewin in real life. Everton link there. I don't, I don't know what I was going for, but yeah. Leading at halftime. And there's your proof. The whistle blown. 2-1 on the scoreboard. And the players going into the dressing rooms. 2-1 up at the break. As it's really good for him. Joe Gomez leading all the other games 0-0. Which suits us to the ground. Uh, could do with a couple of them losing of course. But draws won't be bad. As we need this win. Near Zaha. Gives it to Ben Yedder. Gives it into Eze. Oh my days. We could have another goal at the start of the second half. We love a start of the half. As Daly Blind talking about him at the start of this uh, game as well. Wasting a lot of chances, takes it here. The ex-Man United man who's back to the Premier League gets, I think, his first goal of the season. Is it in fact? I've skipped the replay just because I purely want to know. And yes, it is. Daily blind with the finish. We are 3-1 up against the toughest, but need to keep hold of it. This is Vissan Ben Yedda. Gives it into Zaha. Wilfred Zaha now. Into Ben Yedda again. Ben Yedda cuts inside. Ben Yedda. Oh, I wanted him to join in the front. I just thought that I'd gone in already, but it has struck the post. And that's a good ball over the top. Everton looking for this goal again. Guaiti got to pick that up as Richarlison. Oh, good save, Guaita. But still, should have done better at the first chance. And here is uh, Tom Davies. I thought it was Hammers then, just because of the commentary. As that's bounced straight into Sigurdsson, who can't get his shot off right. As there's only four minutes added on now. And I think we should have it wrapped up. Although, we've got another chance here. Zaha, could we make it even more? Said I don't care about goal difference, but I wouldn't mind if he scored. As he's put it wide. Didn't expect him to miss that one. As yeah, it looks like it's going to be a 3-1 win here. We're still putting the pressure on as well. That's what I love about these boys. And it looks like we're on for a good season if we don't win the league. We're still going to chase that dream though. As that is a good win over. We've still got Lisa Simulate again after this. And then we'll end the episode out. But that is a good win and a needed win. As Man United gained three points. Arsenal dropped three. And Leicester and Tottenham drawing. Which actually does a favour. Thank you, boxers. As we are up to four. Spurs at the top. Only seven points off them with 11 games to go, which is actually quite a few. Manchester United above us. Arsenal behind us now with Chelsea and Liverpool dropping to seventh. Jeez. We've actually done them a bit of disservice there as we have Leeds United simp. These are rock bottom. It's going to be the same team and I guarantee you we lose our draw because it's rock bottom. You know what's coming. They're playing the Bielsa formation and I told you. I told you. It's Hulk and Rodrigo gets a goal. Of course it's Rodrigo. At least Brighton drew it top of the league, but that ain't good. A simulated game has gone against us. We did simulate another one, but of course I did it off screen because the recording gear wasn't working. It's unfortunate, guys. This is going to be the end of this recording as well. I hope you guys have still enjoyed it. I hope the mic quality is good. I hope the camera is an improvement for you guys, but I know the cold isn't in my frame of mind. I know I might have been a bit 
down and you can hear the, the snow bubbles starting to form. But thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, share and subscribe with the notification bell on as well. If you haven't watched the update video, please go ahead and follow my Twitch, which will be in the description now. I think, if not, YT underscore MWS underscore, which is the road to glory's new place of uh, Habitat. That's where it's living. That's where it's going to be on. And this is just going to be a solely career mode and football related channel now. So thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next one in a bit. Peace.